Hello and welcome to Today Tonight. Thank you for joining me. Tonight, coming to you from the MCG, where, fingers crossed, tomorrow the Crows will once again be holding that Premiership Cup. Now tonight, as Adelaide faces its grand final mission, we've ventured into enemy territory, defiantly flying the Adelaide flag and getting a Victorian welcome that shows they still haven't forgiven or forgotten who took that cup in 1997. Ah! We're the pride of oh, Australia. Australia. We're the mighty Adelaide. Oh. No mucking around, or no, just we're, removed from the ground? No, we're not mucking around. I'm just telling you. No. You know, St Kilda showed a small respect last year. Tonight, can we do it again? The Adelaide Crows are marching headlong into their second grand final tomorrow after shocking die-hard football fans last year with an upset victory over St Kilda to snatch the Premiership Cup. And in 1998, the Crows once again defied the odds. This year, facing North Melbourne, unquestionably the toughest team fighting for Premiership glory, and after 11 wins on the trot, the Kangaroos are understandably brimming with confidence. But it's an older and very much wiser team of Crows contesting this grand final. And as Graham Archer reports, after having proved last year that they truly were a force to be reckoned with, the Crows aren't taking anything for granted. What a thrill it would be for him. It was a stunning victory, I've got to say that. We're now a chance to have another crack at the, the major prize. Remember this, they're not a great uh, finals side, and this will be amply demonstrated on Saturday. And if it's not, that's the end of me, I'm winding it up. And this? See you later, Craig. I'll see you on Saturday at the MCG. No, you won't. Yeah. Yeah. No, you won't. Will you? Yeah. We're going to be there, we're going to take the premiership trophy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're being hard. Yeah. 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 And how could you forget this? So there's nothing left now but to celebrate. We made the club uh, come of age and uh, obviously everyone around the club was very happy with uh, what we achieved. Credibility, self-belief, pride, I think an awareness both nationally of the Adelaide Football Club and particularly of the state of South Australia. Bill Sanders is the original CEO of the Crows, employee number one there from day one when an ATCO hut was the only thing between them and the outside world. Very hard by Romano Negri. There must be moments when you didn't think you'd win one, let alone two. Oh, look, our goal is always to win the premiership. I mean, every footy club, unless you, you've got that objective, I think you're wasting your time. No one would argue that 1997 was the year they had to have. The club needed the success, didn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, we're uh, such an exposed football club, uh, prior, particularly prior to uh, the entry of Port, Port Adelaide, and uh, I, we were subject to a lot of criticism, and in some uh, cases... Uh, the criticism was warranted, but uh, I think being the only team as we were, uh, we were sometimes overexposed, and as a result of that, uh, minor blemishes tend to be uh, uh, overrated, and uh, I mean, as it is now, things have settled properly, and we're able to get on with business uh, as we would like. We play football to win premierships, so I think a lot of players uh, achieve their goal of their careers, uh, and uh, won their first premiership. It's 65 metres out, but he pumps the ball long. Backing back, Rusciuto. Mark Rusciuto has always been serious about his football, but never more so than this year. For him, the grand final was just short of perfect. Oh, it was a, definitely a frustration, but uh, I was probably lucky in a way that there was other players that missed out as well. Uh, I was very close friends with a lot of the players that missed so out. So you could share that feeling a bit. Yeah, you share it, and... Uh, you know, it, it'll make it sweeter, uh, you know, we've got a chance to do that this weekend. And while it's hard to escape success completely unaffected, there's no sign of the malaise that's laid low some sides following a premiership, the hangover. 
you know, people talk about the hunger and the hangover and all that sort of stuff. And I, look, the only way I've approached it, and I don't know any other way, is that you just go through the process again. And it is difficult, um, but not impossible. Obviously, taking the Premiership Cup out of Melbourne uh, stung a few of the Melbourne sides, and uh, you know they wanted to knock us off uh, in 1998, so it was never going to be easy. In fact, this appears to be a better team than it was last year, more poised, tougher, and more confident, and even a different club. Do you think it's actually a better club? Oh, without doubt. I mean, the Premiership has got to um, pull the people that uh, are involved together. You look like you've got a fair bit to do here, Rex. Yes, Glenn, there's a fair, a fair amount of gear that we've got to take to Melbourne with us. Uh, we've played that many away games this year, we're getting used to it. You'd be battling but, uh, to find anyone more grassroots than gear steward area, Rex Lay. Every time those Guernseys yeah. have been packed and unpacked, Rex has been the one to do it. You, you wouldn't be doing it for the, for the pay <laughs> and the hours, but uh, no, it just, uh, it's just marvellous being involved with a club and particularly one at this level. But of course, every success has its casualties. Spare a thought for Tony Modra, whose superb timing lifted him above the packs so often over the past five years. But it was timing too that brought him to earth in 1997. He came in with his right knee uh, strapped, but he's done the other one. And again in 98. I guess um, any player wouldn't feel that, that happy being dropped. Yeah, well, uh, it is uh, particularly unfortunate for Tony, uh, given the, the circumstances of the 97 Premiership when he was injured. And this year, through uh, form, uh, loss, and, and also the structure of the team, uh, that he's, uh, he's finding himself playing with West Adelaide. The only guarantee is that the battle will go on regardless, and so will the passion for the Crows. I can assure all of our supporters that we would give it our best shot. Now, if our best shot is not good enough on the day, so be it, but we'll be having a red-hot go. To win two flags in a row would be a great effort, and uh, we've got a chance to create history uh, on Saturday. I reckon you might too. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Coming up next, what happens when a passionate Crows fan ventures deep into Roo territory and a North Melbourne fanatic decides to take his chances on the streets of Adelaide? You're going to have on your face. No way! We're the winners! Come on, 